So on April 9th of this year, the White House dispatched its hapless cutout, then British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, to Kiev. According to Ukrainian news media, Johnson communicated two messages to the Zelensky government. Quote, the first is that Putin is a war criminal. He should be pressured, not negotiated with. And the second is that even if Ukraine is ready to sign some agreements on guarantees with Putin, the West is not. In other words, who cares what the Ukrainians want? America and the UK demand total war with Russia, regime change war with Russia. And of course, the Ukrainians caught in the middle had no choice but to concede. So days later, the peace negotiations fell apart. This was virtually unreported at the time, but it was the turning point in the war in Ukraine. The war designed to topple Vladimir Putin, just like we toppled Saddam Hussein, and then hoping for the best afterward. That is clearly insane and dangerous. But that's where we are. And from that point on, everything changed. And that is how we got to where we are today, which is the closest we have ever been to nuclear conflict in history. This week, President Zelensky of Ukraine gave an interview to the left-wing newspaper, The Guardian. And in it, he casually called for the United States to nuke Vladimir Putin. So in response to what Putin just said, Ukraine's government called for an immediate nuclear attack on Russia, an attack that would, without question, result in the immediate destruction of New York, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, the deaths of tens of millions of Americans. That's what he just said. Sane people do not talk this way, ever. Only Tony Blinken and lunatics like Tori Newland really want that. And they are fully behind Ukraine's president as he declares that his goal is not ending the war and getting his country back, which is a fine and admirable goal that most Americans support. No, his goal is toppling Vladimir Putin and turning Russia into another failed state. So a corrupt Eastern European authoritarian leader in a T-shirt is lecturing us about the community of nations. It's about regime change. Specifically, they're demanding a nuclear